Hiya friends! Welcome to Kitten Brush. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a Siberian Husky. So grab a pen and some paper and let's get started. I'm going to start at the center of my page at the top. I'm going to draw two, two lines just stretching toward the top of my page. They're curves. and then some little tufts of fur between those two lines. This is gonna be the top of the Husky's head and those two lines that we first drew are gonna be part of the ears. I'm just gonna round out the top of the ears, just making some little points there and then coming down, bringing that line down to finish up the ears. Now on each side of those ears, I'm going to, I'm going to make another line. It's just a, a slight curve for the side of the face. And then just round out those lines to form the cheeks. I'm just going to clean up that line real quick. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna work on the details of the face. Um, I'm just gonna draw like an imaginary line in my head here um, to vision where the nose is going to be. And then I'm just gonna draw an oval for that nose in the center of the face, more towards down the bottom of the face. And under that nose, I'm gonna draw two curves sort of looks like a wave. And then on the corner of the mouth there, draw two small curves just coming under the mouth. And then another curve to form the top of the tongue. And then to finish that tongue, I'm gonna draw a long U shape. And then a line that stretches from the top of the tongue, but not quite all the way down. For the eyes, come up to the nose and draw a point on each side of the nose. And from here, I'm just gonna draw a slight curve. And then on the top of that curve, Draw a curve going out toward the side of the face on each side. And then I'm gonna come back down to that first curve we made for the eye and draw another curve that reaches up to that second curve we drew. Now for the details in the eyes, Let's draw some eye highlights. I'd like to draw just one in each eye. Just some small circles there. And then for the, um, the pupil, I'm just gonna make a round curve, almost like a C. I'm cleaning that one up. I can fix that later. Luckily it's black, so it's easy to fix. And then to form out the iris, I'm just gonna draw a small line at the corner of the eyes. And that little small part is gonna be white, the white of the eyes. Now I'm gonna come back and color the pupils to finish that, the eyes up for now. I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna shape up this one. Great. Um, 
Now let's do some details in the ears. I'm gonna draw a curve just parallel to that ear curve there. And then some little tufts inside the ear. And then I'm gonna repeat on the other side. Now for the Husky's markings. I'm gonna make two points between the eyes. And I'm gonna draw an upside down U. And then on the left side of that U, I'm gonna make a smaller sort of hook shape there. And then just, I'm gonna gradually bring it up and make another U or arch shape, I would say. It's more like an arch. And then repeat. I'm just mirroring as I go here to try to make it symmetrical. And then draw a small curve at the bottom of that U shape or arch shape and connect it to the side of the face. Now come back to the nose. I'm gonna make just a highlight there and then color in the nose. Hopefully I don't smear this all over. If you have trouble with smearing, you can always put a piece of paper under your hand as you color. I always forget to do that. All right, now let's work on the body. Let's make a little curve under the face, under the cheeks there. Just form out the neck. And now on the left side, I'm just gonna bring kind of this nice long curve there on each side. And just kind of bring it down to the center there, but don't connect them yet. And then for the bottom of the paws, you're just gonna draw two lines and then sort of shape them to connect. It's like a little small peak right there. And then at the top of that peak, just draw a line coming up the center of the body, but not all the way. We wanna leave some space for the chest. Now let's make the hind legs. I'm gonna make a C shape up around that's for one paw now on the other side let's make a backward C I feel like I may have made that one too big but that's okay now make two points on the side of the body just some little guiding points and at the those guiding points I'm just gonna drag down a curve there to form the the top of the legs, the hind legs. And then at the bottom of the paws, I'm just gonna make a little curve that connects the front paws to the back. Now let's add some details in the paws and I just messed up my paper. Just some straight lines to show where the toes are. And then I'm gonna draw my puppy pads. I like to draw a heart shape. I know they're not actually heart shaped, but I think it's kind of cute and fun. You can do whatever you want. And then some little toe pads there. Now I'm gonna repeat on the other side, just drawing three straight lines for the toes and then my heart shaped foot pads and toe pad. Well, the toe pads are not heart shaped, they are ovals. And there we go. Wait, maybe, hold up. Uh, I'm not gonna do the tail just yet. Let's finish up the rest of the body. So 
Make two small straight lines just above the paws there. And I'm gonna draw three lines for the toes. And I like to draw them at a slight angle just to make, make the paws look like they're turned in a little bit. Now let's come up to the neck. I'm just gonna bring in that neckline a little bit more toward the center of the face. And then at the corner of that neckline, I'm gonna start drawing some tufts for the chest. So just mirror as you go. It just helps guide me if I do it this way. It makes it look a little less wonky in the end. Now I'm gonna finish up by drawing one big tuft at the bottom in the center of the chest. I'm just gonna clean up these lines real quick. All right, now I'm gonna draw the details, the markings of the husky on the legs. And you're just gonna start halfway up on the chest, um, on one of the tufts, draw a small curve, and then you're gonna extend that curve out and it forms almost like an S. You're gonna make that, the bottom of the S really big. So just bring down the bottom of the S, the end of that S um, at the, the left foot there. And then just repeat on the other side. You're gonna mirror that, so it's gonna be in reverse. So again, just draw that S shape. Now coming to the top of the back legs. I'm gonna draw another, it almost looks like another S, but it's even smaller. It's like, it's a little different. Basically have a big curve that goes in, it gets smaller toward the leg. Now for the tail, uh, come up about halfway on that right hind leg, draw a long curve. Then at the tip of that curve, just bring down a smaller curve and some large tufts there. And then on the inside of that tail for the markings on the tail, you're just gonna repeat what you just did, but just smaller. So it's gonna be just about parallel, but a little bit smaller than that. Now I'm just gonna clean some things up. I'm gonna clean up the, the legs here, the feet, the little paws. Making those lines a little bit longer. You don't have to do this. I just want it to look as perfect as I can. And there we go. I think our husky is complete now. So I'm going to grab some Copic markers um, and I'm going to color this husky in a few different grays and probably make his eyes blue. So you do whatever you want and um, I will see you at the end.
Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed drawing the Siberian Husky with me. Um, and if you did, please hit that like and subscribe button to see more kitten brush videos in the future.